Okay, fam. So I am so sorry. Woo. I am so sorry that um, this is not live. Um, my sister from my dad's birthday is today. And we're having her a surprise birthday party. Well, her other sisters are ha ha having her a surprise birthday party. And they invited me to come. I'm hoping this stay up. Until we can finish what we, what we're nope. Look at that. I'm a, I'm gonna fix that, and then we're gonna go and start tackling this right here. We're gonna start tackling it again. Now, as I told you guys, um, I'm trying to purge and um organize my clothes, and um, all down there is shoes. I want to organize those as well. Um, all my designer bags are up under there. And I want to line them up up there and up there. Um, my Michael Kors, a lot of my Michael Kors are already up there. Um, because when Michael Kors came out, that was my jam. Well, I'm like, it's a song. But that was my thing right there. I love Michael Kors. And whatever bag I could get with Michael Kors on it, I got all right, so, but now they don't even seem like Michael Kors is a designer bag anymore. So that sucks. But anywho, okay, so as you can see down here, I got, I got most of that stuff that was down this, down this alleyway. I got it and up off the floor. And so we got to do this, like that little bit. We got to get this up right here, and then I'm going to tackle this section where the, um, the, um, what you call that thing? The bench is. So I'm going to do that. We're going to do the bench. And we're going to come back to that, uh, later. I do want to get that right there done. Uh, and, and this box, these box, this box and stuff right here back over there. I do want to get that done before I leave to go to Africa. Um, so if my husband needs to get up there, he can. And just the aesthetics of these, um, I don't want him to come home to a a war zone when he don't want to be by a war zone anyway. So, um, yeah. But y'all guys, see that wig up there? That's my faithful wig. Um, that wig is probably three or four years old as far as being in that style. When my, when my friend got married, I told you I was in an Oreo wedding. That was her hairstyle. And all I did is came home and took it off and put it on her. And I wore her last year to my sister's, um, uh, surprise birthday party. I wore it to the pink party the pink teacup party and i'm thinking about wearing it again tonight i'm thinking about it i really am depends on how my outfits goes um also i'm going to put some uh what you call them designer dresses on on facebook market as well because i'm not going to wear them again so with that being said i am going to pause the video and get y'all on the um the tripod so we can go at it. Okay, guys. So I got you up here the best way I can. Prayerfully. Um, oh man, really? Now the bat battery wanting to be and um almost going off so let me pause y'all again because i'm not doing any editing to this all right and we're back again oh. so before i put all this stuff on the floor this goes to a, a short set that i have right here Maybe the next time my husband come home, 
I get the scissor. I'll wear this short set to pick them up from the airport. Guys, I spent so much unnecessary money today for um my sister's party. Her color is yellow, white, and silver. And I had I, I had a look in my head that I wanted to do, and I ordered the jacket and the shirt. And lo and behold, they refunded the money. I'm like, why? I'm sitting here thinking that it's going to come yesterday. And I'm hawking the mail and it didn't come. And I, <laughs> now I'm sad because I had to go out and buy. Um, I, so I said, well, I have some white slacks that I, that I haven't worn yet. And... I said I can wear my white slacks, and um, I said, well, I want to wear some yellow, so um, I wanted to get a yellow blazer. Of course, you know, it's going to be hard to find a yellow blazer just going into a store in my city, that is, in my little city. Um, so, I... Um, went to thrift stores and of course I was shopping the men section for um for um blazers and the first the first one I went to um it it had a it had a yellow jacket which was nice it was really nice but it was the wrong size. So I didn't get anything out of there. The next one I went to, they had some nice stuff. They had um well and I got it too. Um it, it, it's a pin it's a pinstripe stripe um uh uh, uh suit and it's a three piece suit. And I brought that because it has it has a yellow undertone. It has more of a tone like not not the brown, but it's it, and it's not this it's not this vibrant. Um, I don't have anything here that uh has that undertone. I don't think. So I got that suit. They also have some yellow shirts. So I got those. And um, so I got that from there. And then this morning, that was yesterday. And then this morning I got up and um, I looked through my stuff. And I found this corset, this um, two-piece, actually it's a three-piece or four-piece corset that um, I could wear. And I still might wear it. I might wear that, my white slacks, this, and the yellow blazer over it. So, have that. And then, my, uh, was it my son? No, it wasn't my son, because he asked me today where it was and that. My my sister said you should have went to Kato's. So I was like, oh, I forgot about Kato's. So I go into Kato's and they have a nice yellow shirt that droops down right here. And um, I said I can wear my silver um, uh, gaudy. I forget who made it, but it's like this thick gaudy um necklace. Uh, I could wear that, and then um, I was saying that as far as a jacket was concerned, when when that come to, come to play, I could have swore I had a well, all these clothes. I know I have a um, a white 
blazer. I know I have one. I just can't find it. And it may be out in the garage still. And um, some bags because when I moved over here, it was in the summer months. Okay. Oh. Makeup, makeup. Okay. Might um, take these to uh, when my daughter had her surgery. Um, so I'm going straight from Africa to Miami because my daughter having her surgery. And um, so a lot of the stuff that she needs, I already have. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to go over the way. Yeah. Guys, you remember when I told you my um, luminaires that I had before? Uh, the dentist, the military is, is uh, fixing it or, or changing them. Um, that it would have cost an average person $10,000 to get done what I got done. Well, um, the VA sends me receipts, a receipt of, of how much people charge them and how much they actually pay, pay the company. And so um, they originally uh, put in for my whole mouth at one time, get my whole mouth done at one time. Um, and the VA said, no, nah, we can't do that. So. My dentist said, well, just put them in one quad, one, one, um, oh, God. Oh, Jesus. I can't believe it. I got it. One, not quadrants, because quadrants is four. Jesus Christ. Can I believe I forget? Man, see, this is something. I, I got to start taking me some memory vitamins or something because this right here is ridiculous. I can tell you the mandible and the um the mandible. And, so it's the upper and lower. So um they sent me a the VA sent me a a um like a receipt showing what they paid the people and that my one quadrant this one upper quadrant not quadrant this one upper um whole upper is costing sixteen thousand dollars for the for the military to fix it and what my teeth mm, my teeth are not bad guys so before somebody said oh she got she don't take care of her mouth for da 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 no, it's not that. Um, strawberry, anyone? Um, what it is is that I take so many different medications. At, at night, I know I take 11. Just at night, I take 11. And um, it's, they're very drying. The, the medications... Is very drying to me, and it dries my mouth like really bad to the point where it's like I don't have any saliva in it. It's like bone dry, and so they they said they were going to oh, and so when um I go for my checkup every six months. Um, I would go and my dentist was like, he'd be like, um, are you brushing your teeth? And I was like, yeah, I'm brushing my teeth. <laughs> he was like, how often are you brushing? I said three times a day. And after I eat sweets and all that kind of stuff, he said, oh, well, you know, you know the drill. I said, yeah. I said, what's going on? He said, you have two cavities this time. I said, how did I get two cavities in? I was just here six months ago, and I didn't have any cavity. And the degree of, of decay that this cavity is, it don't make any sense. 
And so they were telling me that from my mouth being dry, I was contracting cavities. And I would go for my checkup every six months. And sure enough, it'd be, it'd be some more. What is the hang up? It'd be some more um cavities. And I used to cry when I went to the dentist. Cause see, guys, my mouth is my. I love my mouth, and when I'm um, when I'm old, dead and old, I want my my mouth to look nice. I know ain't nobody gonna be able to see it, but I want I want it to look nice. And so um, they was going to treat my treat my mouth symptomatically and what that means is is that anytime something goes wrong and if it's a major tooth they was a major tooth decay they was going to remove my tooth and then they was going to put a implant in it and us and then or and or they was going to remove all my teeth um at one point or another and give me dentures and i said oh no you ain't yeah <laughs> Ain't nothing going in this mouth that's removable. Mm-mm. No. So, um, he was like, the the specialist that I went to, he was like, well, I would, I'd be glad to do the work. I know you would be glad to do it. I'd be glad to do the work. We just got to see if the VA going to approve it. And, well, of course, they denied it the first time because um, he, he put the whole the whole entire um mouth on it all the, all my teeth and they said no nah, that's too much to spend so my dentist my regular dentist said um try each each oh I just knew it was gonna come to me <laughs> each uh oh, anyway upper and lower and so, um, of course, they approved the upper, and um, they did the. They're, they're doing the uh, the method where they actually um, shave some of my teeth down and um, putting crowns on all of them. So um, right now, I have some temporary on. This is a, a skirt that I haven't even worn yet. Um, right now I have temporaries on and they, um, they feel funny. I, I mean, oh God, it feel like I have on dentures, but it felt like that when, um, I got my lumineers too. When I had them on, it felt like I had dentures on as well, but, um, no, it's no dentures. And yesterday and part of today when I was, um, like my mouth wasn't i hadn't had anything to drink really and um my mouth got this funny taste in it and i felt like i was going to regurgitate yeah this is my um nun my nun costume and when when we first moved over here i wore that costume and um i put uh the radio speaker outside and I was playing country, um, country uh, music, and all my neighbors was like, "Have y'all been to the country nun house?" And she was rocking it. <laughs> I said, "Lord have mercy, the country nun." And I was, and that's how they remembered me for a while. And then, you know, then they started um, remembering my name. But of course, now about every last one of those families are gone because of um deployments so that's the only thing about being a um, military family is that you lose a lot of friends and you tend and i tend to not make friends i don't make friends because i don't want to lose friends and that's why i think i only have um my uh bestie as a friend because um 
it's too hard. It's hard having her in South Carolina and me in North Carolina. You know, so this is another one of those shirts that I'm going to get rid of. My daughter probably going to want them. But yeah, I love this shirt, y'all. I have a Shih Tzu and read it. It says, I shit to not. I shit, I shit, shit, so, to, so, not. <laughs> you know what they're trying to say. But, anywho. Um, so, yeah. That's why I don't make friends right there. Because I don't want, you know, there's a, um, a little... A little um shirt to go up under this and I wear I used to wear this as a cover-up when I went to the beach I will always wear it as a cover-up and I need to find a shirt to go with it I don't have any more hangers any more of the old hangers and I don't want to open the new hangers until until I have everything like where I can just say bam, bam, bam. Just, you know, put everything where it needs to be. These used to be my favorite night pants. It's a top to go with them, too. This is a nice, pretty shirt. Yes, it is. That's really nice. I wish it was black. I can't believe she didn't have no black in it. Oh, last year it was black and black and white. I was fly last year. Oh, I show y'all what I wore last year. I wore wore one of them to her to my um to her um birthday celebration, and then I wore another one. She. She was in a fashion show, and I went to her fashion show, and I wore another one. Man, I was fly. If I do say so myself, I was fly. And, but of course, it had to be raining that day, and all my beautiful voluptuous curls that I had in my head was gone by the time I got to um, the place. And then they had hot cocoa and everything. The vendor man was outside. So you had to go stand outside to get what you wanted to buy. And then come back in to the church. And it was just drizzling. And uh, it was just, it wasn't cold. It was just like the rain, the rain was kind of, kind of like a tad bit chilly. But, anywho. This right here, see, you know, my, my sisters and them say they borrow my clothes, right? And I always say to them, you better bring my clothes back because I know what I have. And they be like, we know, you know, we know, you know, I can tell you when I wore it. Like this set right here, it has some pants that are this color right here, the pink. And it has a, I think the, the shirt is like this green color or it's vice versa. And this right here was the, the cover up that went on it. And it was some jeans. And I wore that this to my husband's family cookout. When he was overseas, I went to the cookout, you know, to represent this part of the Evans. And I wore that. I wore that then. So I know I know my clothes. I really do. Now if I don't know them, when I see them, if I don't know them then that means that, you know, I really don't care too much about them and I should go ahead and get rid of them like this. I know, I know of it, but you know, and the browns are in, browns are in. So I know this is sell right, like real fast. It's going to sell real fast because browns are in this year. Right now, browns are in. Um, this is one of my Moo Moo dresses that I wore when I was at, uh, when I had my surgery. So I'm going to put this off to the side so my daughter could have it. Um, 
so she don't have to worry about buying any of that kind of stuff because she's paying for my ticket and her ticket and the the, uh, the recovery house. So, you know, she got a lot to pay. So, um, all her meds that she needs, exception of her pain meds, I have all those as well. I don't need these either. I got one more grandchild that can fit this. And then after that, oh, then I got a nephew, a nephew that's coming. He, um, well, he's already here. He can fit it. And I love this one. Holy Sprite. Holy Spirit, if you don't, if you look at it. It's Holy Spirit, I meant, but people see Sprite because of, that this is sprite logo and everything guys i don't know what how much minutes it is but um um when i when i think oh wait hold on it may be like 15 because it's 306 now and i said i wanted to be recording by three so that um you know what? This outfit right here, I'm going to take with me to, to um, Africa. It's like an off-the-shoulder um, like shirt, belly kind of shirt. And I got these white capri things right here. So I'm going to take that with me. I got to start packing too, guys. All right, let's go on over here. This is authentic um, Miami Dolphins um, um, jersey. I got it for my husband, and I thought Marino is his was is his favorite player, and I thought that he would be able to fit it. But I forget my husband has like really, really, really big, broad shoulders, so. Um, now I probably can fit it, but I'ma just I'm going to um I dang, that's what I could have got it for shoot. I was in in the thrift store today and I saw a big black, um it was it's a picture frame but it's like a picture box picture frame, and um I don't need it. It's five links anymore. I don't think anybody gonna want five link stuff. But I saw that, and I was, and I had it in my hand. It was like thirteen dollars, and I was like, "Well, daggone, what would I use it for?" And now I wish I would have got it. I wish I would have got it. And my son is gone. He's gone to his dad's birthday is today, and he's gone to his dad's house. And I know it's gonna be gone. I know it's gone. No, it is. No, it is. <laughs> Now, I don't ever get rid of my camisoles because um, I may have saggy boobs, but sometimes then they they um they're good inside camisoles that I can wear around the house. Now, this is new. I know I haven't worn this yet. I got this. Um, store did I get this from? I can't remember what store, but this color looks good on me. This these pink colors like this looks really nice on me. So I'm gonna take that just in case it's a little cool at night. This right here, I got I got this orange blazer right here. Got this orange blazer and I had this this shirt at one point, but majority of the time I I wore blue with this. I wore um some blue boots, some I think it was blue jean pants, blue pants, 
this blazer and like a blue shirt and I wore it I wore it with something for my husband and then I brought this this shirt right here to go with the pants I wouldn't have to wear the blazer all the time and Tata is back in too guys And see, that's what I hate. I'm going to sit this right here. And then I'm going to say, oh, well, I'll put it up in a little bit. And a little bit turn to me not putting it up. And do these tights. Let me get rid of those. My granddaughter is tall and lengthy. The oldest one. I'm going to check the, the um recording in a few seconds, guys. In a few minutes to see where we're at. Because um, I don't want to. See, I love pants like this. because They're really, really big and comfortable. <laughs> And when I put them on, I, they 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 are so baggy that they drag up under my feet and everything. And I just love I just love to be in stuff like this. It's like really soft, and you get out the shower or bath, and you put something like this on. Oh God, I just love it. When I, I don't care what what season it is, I love putting on pants like this. But they too big for me, so. Goes, it goes, it goes, it goes. Mm -hmm. I don't, well, I've worn this once. Yeah. So function for church. I'm trying to figure out do I need it. I just I just brought some dresses that are um black and silver. And people say, Well, why are you gonna buy a dress? I, I'm gonna buy. I brought the dress so that I could turn it into a shirt. Um, they didn't have any shirts that are light, so I, I grabbed two, three, three dresses that was kind of that was sequency, and um, I said I was gonna wear this right here. This right here is like a. It's sort of like a um, what you call that thing that you wear a faha. And, um, woo, it, it tells you it's going to take you like 30 minutes to get in this by yourself. And I was like, they, they joking. They ain't going to take nobody no 30 minutes to get in this thing. Man, I was sweating up a stone. I was sweating. And I was like, my, my son was the only one here right then. So I was like, I called him. I, he, I, he had to, um. Like, I told him, like, lift me up and shake me to put me in there. But when I got in there, I was snatched. And after the first time you do it, it's, it, it's not, it, it stretches to your body. And, and then, so the next few times, it's not, um, the next times it's not hard to do. But that's if you keep wearing it. Now, if you don't wear it like I don't wear it, when when you go back to get in it, you got to go through all that um all that stuff again, all the pulling up and tugging and and this all I like to wear now. And these are only bras that I really like to wear now. Is my bras to my um my um tights. And I said what I need to do is just get me like a white top a black top like really long because this is what i wear a lot of the time this right here along with you know the pants to go with it and i got to put these back together because the pants are back in the back room oh i love this dress i really love this dress and i'm gonna see after this um after i show y'all this dress i'm gonna um see well, um, did I get this dress when I was, um, yeah, I got this dress on my honeymoon from the, uh, from the Bahamas. Oh, God, and it is so, and I think I got, a, I got a short version of it, too. 
but I love this. It fits, it fits me like, I mean, it's like God himself says, stand up and let me mold this to your body. And when I mean to tell you when he molded it, he molded it and he made it come all the way to the floor too. And I was like, thank you, Jesus. I received it. And I just knew I was cute when I wore that. And nobody tell me anything. Oh, guys, and this is my, my photography company, Simply Beautiful Photographies. That's, that's my, um, my, my, um, yeah, my film, my mm, photography company. And I do a lot of, of graduations and, um, let's see, my daughter don't want me. Graduations and, and this right here was, um, it was going to be my daughter's wedding dress, but something happened and she didn't end up wearing it. She didn't, I think once she put it on, once she put it on to actually wear it at her wedding, um, she didn't like it anymore. So we had had uh, another dress on standby um, just in case. And I know that's, that's bad memories for her. All right, guys, let me check right quick. I'm going to walk up and check and see where we're at. Because this time it's like turned the other way. Oh, man. It's only been 36 minutes. Then I am worrying. Thinking that, ooh, thinking that I'm holding you guys up. My Mac primer. Oof. God, I got to put on makeup. Dang on it. And, and for the people that say ooh to this, if you're married, if, if you're married, you better stop saying ooh. You better go to the store and get some of them. Because uh, after, you, after you're married for a while, you got to think of some good things to come in the bedroom. You got to think about some. You got to get creative in the bedroom and I, I was trying to find my um my police officer I have a police officer set I have an army set I have a nurse set and what's the blue one? Oh, the blue one is the police officer yeah yep better and um, I was going to, when my husband left this time, I was going to wear one of these out last night. But he made me mad, so I said, well, I had a surprise for you, but you don't deserve it. He said, what? I said, no, nah, you don't even need to know what it was. I said, don't even worry about it. Yeah. And, and that right there eat my husband up more than anything because he can't stand to not know something because he'll know it all when he think he'll know it all oh these are the pants that went with that 